The Arctic is losing ice at a rate of about 11% per decade. Now what you're watching here is sort of like the beating heart of the Arctic, this rhythmic expansion and contraction of the ice. You'll start to notice something. Something's going wrong with the beating of this heart. In slow but inexorable motion is the creation of the last ice area. This is a picture of the Arctic in 2040. This isn't some sort of wild-eyed projection. This is the scientific consensus amongst people who study climate, study sea ice. This is the consensus of where the ice will end up. This area of immense international significance is located largely in and around Canada. So this makes this a Canadian concern. This is now what I consider my home, this circumpolar world. And my home it's not an abstraction, it's a real place, and it's facing some very real threats. I'm the lead on polar bears for WWF. I'm also a polar bear biologist by trade, and this year marked my 14th consecutive year going out on the sea ice and doing physical research on polar bears. Like Clive, the Arctic too has been my home. I've lived in Alaska the last 21 years. During that time, I've personally seen significant changes in the Arctic, changes that not only threaten polar bears, but other life. And it may surprise you to learn what supports a lot of that other life. It's the sea ice itself. The ice is the soil. Rapid climate change is literally pulling the rug out from under these bear's feet. So this is the urgency. We can't do this alone. You know, where does it all lead? Well, for me, this is the end point. It's a healthy, happy polar bear family symbolizing a healthy Arctic environment and hope for the future. We realize this is a long, large project. We're talking about creating a management regime for an area that's over 500,000 square miles. It's huge and it won't be easy. But we believe that starting now and with the help <coughs> of folks like all of you here tonight, we can do this.